Recruiters move around, it happens. But as an agency owner, a top biller leaving you to join another agency can have a devastating knock-on effect. And as if losing one top biller isn't hard enough, often when one person goes, others follow. You might like to think that this is out of your control or tell yourself they weren't that good anyway, but it's important that you accept some of the responsibility for your top billers leaving because you do have the power to do something about it. So what are some of the reasons um, that top billers leave your agency? Well, it can be the fact that you don't respect their time. Don't be that leader who turns up 20 minutes late for scheduled meetings. This might just seem like business to you, but try to think of it from your recruiter's point of view. They won't commit themselves to any other tasks while they're waiting around for you. So this is 20 minutes of their day completely wasted. You don't appreciate waiting around for people, so you shouldn't expect others to do it either. You also have to respect that your team do have lives outside of work. This can be a hard pill to swallow, but it'll make a difference to morale in the office. We all know that recruitment isn't a nine to five job, but people, to, people who love their job and your business will work outside of core hours when necessary without you even having to ask them. I once worked at a company that had a Monday morning meeting at 8 a.m., played absolute havoc for people with kids who had to juggle their personal schedule around with this one meeting that could have easily started at 9 a.m. This type of practice sends a message to your team, even if it's unintentionally, that you don't really care about your employees as people. Now, you don't want that. The other thing is that perhaps you never ask them what they think. You might think you're the one who needs to have all the answers and that you're the only one who knows what's best for your business. However, this is the kind of attitude that gets in the way of businesses growing. And it's the kind of attitude that makes recruiters feel disempowered and want to leave. Your recruiters will be bursting with great ideas and great insights into the business and the industry more broadly that you don't get to see. They're your key to keeping your finger on the pulse. Show them you value that by asking for their opinion. Strategy days are a great way to implement this. Another thing could be that they don't have enough time to spend on self-development. If you want better ROI from your team but don't provide the training, you can forget it. I've heard so many recruiters say that their training on the job has been practically non-existent, but investing in your staff isn't a nice to have, it's a must have. Providing training and development doesn't just mean your team has more skills, it also means your best staff are less likely to leave. Personal development opportunities are the second most important factor for candidates when choosing a job, so why would it be any less important to the employees already working in your business? Your team needs to have the feeling they've progressed, and if they think they can't progress with you, guess what they'll do? They'll find somewhere else that they can. Now, I've written a blog on this subject. The link in that will be below. I'm also really, really keen to get your opinions on this. Number one, like what's made you stay at a great agency? And number two, if you've left one before, what were the reasons behind that?